Hello everyone, I am Third Mario Brother, and welcome back to more Let's Play Sonic Heroes. In the last episode, we were playing with Team Dark, and we finished the casino stages. Not my favorite set of stages, that's for sure. In this episode, we're going to be striking Eggman at the center of his operations, in the rail stages. So let's do this. Stop saying your catchphrases, characters, I want to play the game already. Looks like we don't have a CG cutscene to start with, that comes as no surprise. And I think we do have an in-game cutscene to start with, though, so I'll be quiet. Eggman energy detected. Ground base up ahead. I wonder what the doctor really meant. We must capture him first. Let's go. Uh, okay, something weird about that cutscene that I never, ever, ever noticed before. Omega, what the hell is Eggman energy? Like, <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Does he have, like body odor so bad that you can smell it from all the way out here, even though we're in the middle of a giant Grand Canyon. Oh man, speaking of the Grand Canyon, it looks pretty hot in this stage, which is terrible because it's kind of hot in real life now, but um, whatever, what am I talking about again? Let's go through these point rings and get this balloon right here. Now, watch out when you're on these point rings. I might have said this um, in Team Sonic stage or whatever, but sometimes the point rings will just launch you off the edge mercilessly and you will have absolutely no control over it, so... A lot of the times, you just have to kind of leave them alone. Uh, a lot of the times, you have to let your characters go where they want to after they go in the point rings. A lot of the times, um, you have to actually control them and put them back in their right path. Screw you, robots. Get out of my way. Go die. There's the key if you want it, in case you want to get some extra lives. And I think I said that <laughs> the exact same thing in the last episode. Like, the exact same way and everything. There's an example of part of the level where you just kind of have to trust it and um, just not move your character after you fly off there. Most of this level, though, is grinding, so it's not very difficult. It is very quick, though, so it gives you kind of an impression of fun when you're not actually doing anything. Now, my experience, if you go through any of these point rings right here except the middle one, then... Well, you're in a world of hurt, because it'll usually throw you off the edge. And it's kind of weird how your teammates can get thrown off the edge, and they just kind of fly back, but I don't know. It's weird like that. And, okay, so let's go up here. we got a couple of ring dashes here that we can do. Whoa, almost got hit by that robot. Let's go ahead and kill these guys. Kill this green one up here. Let's see. Alright, do this ring dash. Oh my god, I almost got hit by that robot. In that case, I would have had to go, damn. A certain friend of mine who's been watching my videos has been commenting that on almost every video so far. Don't think I haven't seen those, good sir. You're in trouble. But um, speaking of Shadow the Hedgehog, which is the quote, the game that quote is from, if you didn't catch that, um, they use the exact same models as this game did. They just recycled them from this game to put them into Shadow the Hedgehog, which I think is actually kind of an interesting fact, and it contributes to... Um, why people think that that game was very lazily made. I don't I don't know what I think about that game. A lot of people have been asking me to do a let's play of it recently. And um although I didn't act actually like hate it like a lot of people do, I'm not sure if I actually want to do one, but um I don't know. I'll decide that in the future. Uh now this video is probably going to turn into a forum on whether I should do that or not, and that's not a very good thing to have a video as, but whatever, we're flying through point rings and we're going really fast, and I didn't fly off the edge, so again, I don't have to say, damn, I'm not here. <laughs> oh, that's so ridiculous. It's about this era that Sonic Games had, like, the most ridiculous voice acting of all. And, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take a risk and rail hop right here. See, okay, don't kill me. Thank you, you didn't kill me. Uh, sometimes you can hit the back of those trains if you're going fast enough, I think, and it kind of sucks because you really can't do anything about it. We fly up, and somehow I got onto this. I don't think I'm supposed to be up here. Probably a bad idea. Let's just land on this thing, which I'm also not supposed to be on. <laughs> All right, I'm kind of uh, breaking the level here, although I guess that's the game designer's fault for letting you get up there quite easily. But now that I think of it, this world is actually huge. There's like miles and miles and miles of rail out in the middle of nowhere. And now that I think about that statement, why does Eggman have miles and miles of rails out in the middle of nowhere? Like, what purpose does this serve for his base? Did he, like, want to go ice skating one day and he thought ice skates had to have mile-long, 
like rails on the bottom. I don't I don't know what I'm saying, but over here, go ahead and break this and you get free shield, which is quite nice. But yeah, like what is the point of all this? I guess it serves as like a terminal for all these trains which would carry supplies and stuff, but I'm not entirely sure why all those like singular rails exist because those rhinoceros train thing, not sure exactly what they're called. I think they were in some of the older Sonic games. But I'm not sure what purpose they serve besides destroying people who go on them, and that problem wouldn't exist if Eggman just hadn't put these rails out here. But once again, I, the idiot, am questioning video game logic, so um, let's just drop that question right there and never speak of it again. It never happened. Alright, since my reflexes apparently weren't good enough to get up here on my first try, I'm gonna have to try it again. I'm gonna just take out Rouge to be safe here so I don't accidentally fly off the rail at some point. And now we're in the middle of two trains. I'm gonna go in the middle to make this look more epic. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. No! 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 Damn, not here. Okay, not again, you don't. Trains, I guess it's unwise to take the um, middle path there because on my practice run I didn't take the middle path there and I didn't get freaking um, ran over by a bunch of trains out of nowhere. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and skip this checkpoint here because if you do that enemy combo there and you have good enough reflexes to jump off, well, I kind of screwed it up, but you should jump off that rail that I was just on and you can get a one-up. So I guess I sacrificed that checkpoint for absolutely nothing, which kind of sucks because Omega's not fully leveled up. Hopefully there will be a couple of enemies, maybe some will drop a power upgrade, I don't know. Oh well, let's go ahead and skate along these rails more, er, grind along these rails more, what am I talking about? I don't know, lately I haven't been able to speak very well, I've been getting all my words mangled and everything, but that is of no importance right now because I'm having fun doing this, and that's all that counts, right? But I won't be having fun doing this if this isn't an A rank. So, let's just pray that it is. Perfect yeah, nice. And the next stage is Stage 8, Bullet Station, in which we are going to annihilate Eggman's base, which Omega says so frequently. Like annihilate. <laughs> Kill, I don't know, he says a lot of things. He's a very, um, scary robot. I wouldn't want to be friends with him if I was Rouge or Shadow, although I guess Shadow has no memory of the physical world, so he really doesn't know what he's doing. More or less in this game, I guess he's a baby, I don't know. Um, okay, let's destroy this jellyfish robot, take our very, very menacing evil robot, and, um, destroy other things. You can actually destroy those anvils with your power, power character. Which is actually something I found out very recently, and I think that's pretty cool, but it doesn't have very much use in this game, and I never noticed this before. What is down here? Five rings. Wow. That sure was worth it. Dang it, you're wasting my time. Anyway, let's get out Omega one more time and pull the switch on this door. I find that it's easier to pull switches on doors with the power characters, but maybe that's just me thinking that it's easier. Maybe it's because Omega's character model is bigger, so he grabs onto it easier or something. I don't know. Um, anyway, once again, there's that key out there, we have this cannon part, which doesn't make very much sense, and I have a question, yet another one that contradicts the logic of any video game ever. How do they communicate when they're in the air flying so quickly? You think, like, the wind would be in their ears or something like that, and they wouldn't be able to talk to each other, they'd be too far apart, and, um, yeah, I'm just gonna... Actually, no, I'll use my Team Blast here. Normally, I just skip over this section, but since I have Team Blast ready right now, may as well use it, right? No harm, no foul. Uh, there's another power-up for Omega. I don't think we got one last stage, which is kind of saddening, but oh well. It's not the end of the world. We got an A rank anyway, so I don't really care about it anymore. Oh my god! <laughs> oh god, that was so close. I... Somehow that triangle jump failed there, and I almost got my face splattered against the bottom of the canyon, which would kind of suck because I might get arrested for graffiti. And you know, I don't really care about the millions of dollars in medical bills or the fact that my life could be lost. I, I just care about that I, I, I could go to jail for graffiti. Yeah, okay, I have no idea what I'm saying. I am going to jump up here. Make sure you know, you take note of that, um, 
robot on the rail right there, and oh, that's the bottom of that thing. Looks like never seen that before. Make sure you take the note of that robot though, because he will catch you by surprise if you don't know he's there before. Because there's one of those robots on every single rail there. But we've already gotten out of that little train section, and just like in Team Sonic's um, level, there's something right here, so you're gonna have to jump off the rail you get out onto as soon as you get there. And I'm just gonna get these rings, then go down here. I'm not gonna take the huge shortcut like we took last time, because there's a lot of points available down here. And let's go ahead and hop in this cannon. Just super mar- what? <laughs> destroyed an enemy there. That was amazing. Why can't I destroy enemies like that in Super Mario 64? I'm the one who gets hurt in that case. Actually, I don't know. I've never actually tried that. Might be something to experiment with. But anyway, enemies with stone shields, you all know how I feel about them. I hate them. I don't think I've ever actually said that before, so I'm not sure how I expected you guys to know how I feel about them. But I'm just going to use a team blast here so that we can progress easily. Make sure to hit the switch that's farther away from you when you get onto that platform, or else you'll just end up wasting a bunch of time, or potentially killing yourself if you don't check what rail has been acti activated before you go on it. Grab that power up for no apparent reason, because I love wasting time. And let's just move onward. Now we have another whole segment here. There was actually one time where somehow this glitched and I just fell off right here, like Shadow didn't start swinging on that second pole, which kind of sucks. I love the glitches where you can like sequence break and do all those like fun shenanigans, stuff you can use for speedrun, stuff you can use to like get into alternate portions of the level like you're not supposed to be able to get into, like the um the mystery zone in Pokemon, is that what it's called? I don't remember exactly, but it's where you can clip through a wall and just walk into blackness. It's kind of useless, but that robot just despawned himself because we got too far away. I didn't know despawning worked like that in this game, but make sure to go forward when you're jumping into this grate and then go back to get a shield and 10 more rings. We already had a shield, so there wasn't too much use for that, but oh well, it's an extra. So oh, what? Damn, not here. Alright, and I think we are about where we were before. I don't even remember at this point because on the way back here, I died once. It wasn't a very funny death because it was just me looking over at my um, computer to make sure I was still recording. And I happened to walk off a cliff, so <laughs> I didn't commentate it or anything, so I just restarted the level then. And then the second time I came back, I decided that I would uh, start thinking about other stuff. Wow, way to be direct, Shadow. As soon as I um, got to this point again, I didn't consciously do it, I just let my mind wander, I guess, and then I forgot to commentate, so that was wonderful. Totally not a waste of time at all. But I wonder why I've been dying so much lately, it's kind of weird. I Maybe because I haven't played this game in a while, except I did a recording session of this just yesterday. That was the Casino's Park stages, but yeah, I'm not exactly sure why I've been dying so much. Um, you ever have that when, if you don't play a game for a while, and then you come back to it like two or three weeks later, or even a month later, or longer than that, you're actually a lot better at it? That's usually the case with me, like I came back to Super Mario Sunshine, and I was better at it than I ever was before, like when I wanted to start Let's Playing it, but I don't know. <laughs> That's kind of unfortunate with this game because it's not happening to me. Maybe it's because it like engraves the control in your memory and then when you're learning again you pick up on it as an advanced learner or something. I don't know. I'm trying to uh, explain the inner machinations of one's mind, which are an enigma. Alright, that cannon was useful, but a bit scary. And you know, if I was these guys, I wouldn't be such an idiot and just go into the cannon. I'd probably, like, get a helicopter or, like, walk around or something. Because <laughs> you saw that cannon, they had absolutely no idea where they were going. And what if it had fired when they weren't in the right, um, like, turret? What if they just fired off in some random direction, never to be seen again? That would kind of suck. Uh, let's go ahead and blow up that robot. Sometimes when you try to do this fireball attack with your power character over a fan, it'll stop your character from moving because Omega, when you don't have ammo, don't try to shoot. Uh, um, yeah, let's go ahead and destroy this. I've never noticed this switch before. What does it do? It does something that I didn't notice, so uh, let's try to do this. Um, there's, oh, it unlocks that key for you. That's where the second key is in this level. I was wondering that for a while, but what was I talking about? I don't know, I forgot, but now we're on a train. It's not the XS Express, unfortunately, which is probably my favorite chapter of Mario 2. And I- What?! 
Come on! That's like the fourth death this recording session. <laughs> Gonna do it all over again. No. Curse you, gravity! <laughs> Okay, well, at this point, I have absolutely no idea where I left you guys off at last, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start commentating here. I wonder if I could just launch. No, apparently not. That acts as a wall, I guess. And if you run into it, you take damage, so don't try to uh, run through there. Uh, let's not fall off here. I don't even know where I died last time, because I died so many times on my way here, it's, it's ridiculous. I don't know. I'm not very good at this game anymore. I... I honestly don't know what happened to me. And I said, um, once upon a time that I actually really liked these stages. Well, Team Sonic's version of these levels, maybe. Uh, Team Dark's versions, hell to the no. This is among my least favorite levels now. Well, I don't know about that as far as Team Dark's levels go. I think it's the next set of stages, it's the haunted ones that are ridiculously long and take forever, and uh, so yeah, we're just gonna do this cannon thing again, and I'm not entirely sure what balloons give you what, so... Sorry about that, if you want a specific item at this point, I'm just gonna try to get as many as I possibly can. And now this introduces the spike balls, which if you run into them, you take damage. You don't like fall and die instantaneously or whatever, you keep all your momentum, keep going forward. Unless of course you have zero rings, and which case you die, but I have a shield and some rings, so I should be fine. Let's not fall off. There we go. Alright, yeah, I'm kind of uh, paranoid that everything in this game is going to kill me now, because I'm pretty sure it's out to kill me, because... Uh, I don't know, just, just crap. It's all just crap, man. I don't know what to do about it. Alright, let's take Rouge, light up this spring. Aw, oh, I didn't get the bonus automatically. Man, I have to wait for my bonus? Jeez. It's like those people who can't stand to take out their cash and hand it to you. Even if it's like a 20 and they're paying $5. Nope, gotta get their credit card out. Do that instead. But oh well, maybe I should not be lamenting my um, woes as a cashier because it's really not that bad of a job, and the fact that I have a job at all, I'm really grateful for, because in this economy, man, stuff happens sometimes. And that was the most brilliant conclusion of the year 2011. But, um, yeah, I'm no economist, if you couldn't tell. I'm not going to jump off the side of the train this time, so, uh, yeah. Jellyfish, do not steal my teammate, because I need him and or her. I didn't even see who it was, and technically Omega's not a male either, so I'm not sure what I'm talking about. Um... Speed, one more time. Homing attack onto this, and you can fly up here. Alright, since we have a shield, I'm just gonna risk getting poked by this guy. Hey, look, I got poked by that guy. Oh, God. I just realized what that sounds like. Uh, I really shouldn't have said that. <laughs> well, this is certainly embarrassing. Here we have another bobsled run, so... Yeah, I guess I'll uh, just distract you guys from what I just said so I don't get made fun of in the comments. <laughs> um, luckily here, around that blind... Turn, there isn't a laser there to just jump out in front of you and you have no idea that it's coming. But there is one right there, and because of draw distance, it doesn't appear until later. We're gonna hit it! Uh, that's what she said. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. I think I've been hanging about Skype too much. But, um, alright, we passed that, and I'm gonna get out Rouge immediately here, so just in case. Uh, there we go, that worked. And I think we're kind of approaching the end of the level here. Maybe, I'm not entirely sure. But here's a little segment where we have to pull three different switches. I always wonder why these segments exist, because they're kind of like really slow paced and they contrast a lot with the rest of the level. Hey look, Rouge wasn't finicky this time in pulling the switch, because it's not that hard of a thing to do, Rouge. Anyway, if you pull the other ones first, or maybe it's that you kill that enemy, I'm not actually sure what triggers that cage opening, but you get 20 rings, and that's always a nice bonus. Uh, whoa. Tried to do a ring dash there, and then I jumped, and I wanted to kill those jellyfish robots, but none of that worked out for me. Um, but anyway, this is the last cannon of the level, so unless I'm an absolute idiot and like jump off the side for no reason whatsoever, I will, well, we will have the level done here. Go ahead and get that 20 rings. That might have not been worth it, because I'm running kind of low on time as far as this, as far as getting an A rank goes. And what the hell, all team last. Doesn't affect me at all. And look at this, eight minutes for one level. 
these levels are devastating if you die in the middle of them, if you're trying to go for an A rank. Like I said before, um, it happened to me a lot of times during this recording, and I guess I'm gonna go check what time the recording is at, just to show you guys what I've been through to get this level done. Alright, let's see, it says 47 minutes. That shows you how dedicated I am to getting an all A rank run. You guys better be grateful! We got him! Capture him first. Then you can have your revenge, Omega. Affirmative. Ready all cannons! Open fire! Jeez, right there, Omega had like a serious look on his face. Like he's the he's the anti-terminator. Instead of killing robots, he kills people because he is a robot. Wow, that was sure clever on my part. Man, I should be a stand-up comedian. I think I've said that before. Man, I have the funniest jokes in the world. Alright, let's go ahead and take him out. Just spam your homing attack like we did with Team Sonic. Make sure you're not over a gap. Uh, this could be... What? What is going on? What is going on? This is bad. This is bad. This is very bad. What is happening? Oh god, am I dead? Oh, I was so close to dying right there. Oh boy, I'm considering myself lucky because... <laughs> should I not have died right there? I was like right over a pit as soon as that glitch ended and it hit that, but... I guess in that regard, I'm unlucky for getting the glitch in the first place, but... Whatever, it doesn't matter to me as long as I'm alive and kicking right now. And, uh, let's try to get an A rank on this boss, so let's hurry up and beat him down. All you really have to do is spam with A, and if you have an upgraded shadow, your teammates will attack this too. Uh, I'm taking a little bit long here, so unfortunately I don't know if I'm gonna get an A rank on this in the first time, but... Whatever. Yeah, in my practice run of this, I had him down in like a minute... minute 06 or something crazy like that. It's certainly better... better a lot, yes. Man... Alright, it was a lot better than this one anyway, but I think this is an A rank anyway. Regardless, by the way, I like the word anyway. I say it a lot, if you couldn't tell. There goes Omega doing his pose, and Rouge, since she's the leader of the team, gets to like sit in his arm, which is a throne. 121, and yeah, that's an A. Alright, thank you guys for watching this episode of Sonic Heroes, this long, drawn out. 50 minute recording. Alright, I'll see you guys next time where we begin on the next set of stages. Shadow? Let's go.